Welcome back to Let's Play Alan Wake 2. I'm Burning Dog Face, and we're here at the Ocean View Hotel, where I've learned that the pre-show ritual was held in the ballroom. And now I need to find that, and, uh... Well, I'm guessing it will come to me as I get there. <laughs> Shout out to Justin Jones, who says, No goddamn way I'd pay those prices for drinks about the, uh, the bar on the roof. Oh, you found my girlfriend in a video game. Oh, wait, that's the shotgun. Never mind. Long, long, long. <laughs> Your girlfriend is not a flashbang grenade. Um, also, quick, Alan, play Doom 2016 and write the Doom Slayer into the dark place to help you. Then again, maybe that isn't such a good idea. And you know, thinking on it, if there is any fictional character I would not want to take the chance of the dark place corrupting, it'd probably be that one. <laughs> you know, the guy made out of limitless aggression who murders fiends from the pits of hell literally with his bare hands just because he hates them so much. Oh, this isn't a wall. This is a door. An elevator. Oh, and I left this so I could check this on this uh, pre-show ritual. Motherfucker! <laughs> There's a trauma pad and, and a road flare in there. Man... I'm going to choose to believe that rather than me being right the first time about it having different results depend uh, on which section you own, on which, you know, reality you open it in, I'm going to think that it's randomly generated. Maybe I press A and it picks something to be in there. I don't know. Why is the down button? Oh, that's clever. The down button is above the up button on this panel. Because we're in the dark place, and you have to dive deep to get to the surface. I guess it's a joke about the dark place being a literal reflection of the real world. Yeah, Ronan Drake had a comment about that. Well, to me, I mean, he didn't leave a comment on the videos. I also kind of got that vibe from, uh... I feel like there's some intentional dissonance in this elevator music, which is odd. Wait, why are there empties on with the film cans? A lot of people do a lot of drinking in this game. Wrong button. Techno, you know what I mean. Oh! Good! I'm out in the black, in between the zones on this map. What? Access to Sky Bridge. Oh, right, yeah, there's Zane's room, so this is the sixth floor. That's why there's a bunch of staircases below me. For like a heartbeat there, I looked down and I thought it was, uh... You know, the, the, the hotel is suddenly infinitely tall or something. Fuck, am I? No, no, I remember this room. This is where I found the... Well, these. These speakers around me. That was a very solid impact. Actually kind of sounded like it hurt. I wonder why when Alan picks up an item, he picks it up with, like, the two free fingers he's got on the hand with his gun. But when I push that button on the elevator... He puts his gun away, then pushes the button, then pulls the gun back out. Don't mind me, just being genre savvy. Alright, 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 alright. Uh, we're going 
this direction. We're turning off the light because I know there are assholes around here. Oh, for fuck's sake, there's a save room just here. I didn't even see this last time. Okay, that's good. There are darts on top of this cooler. And on the off chance that, uh... My uncle is watching this with his eyes closed. I mean, literal darts you throw at the wall, not slang for cigarettes. Uh, let me see here. Oh, I don't have any trauma pads on me. That ain't good. Oh, I do have a shitload of uh, batteries, though, I suddenly realize. Move. Put these over here. Uh, yeah, yeah. I guess I can go get that trauma pad after all. The fu oh, it's the base of a table that's upside down. I was really confused what kind of art object this was for a second there. You see, because it's sitting on top of another table, so I didn't realize. I don't like that the shadows all have the same voice. Something about the fact that they have, you know, uh, the, the, the Taken are men and women, people of varying ethnicities. There's all kinds of uh, variety when the Taken attack you. But these guys, it's always the same male figure with the same voice, and I don't like that. Oh, 104 is over there. I'm gonna go ch look. I'm not gonna go look in that direction. I'm gonna go around the long way. Cool. I know, I know, the key is behind me. Oh! Oh, we both have the same idea. I guess I really do just wander around at random. Oh, it's the map again. Oh, wait, what am I doing? He's gonna walk back right here, so... Okay, first room on the right. No, it isn't 105, is there? It's in front and behind a bunch of junk, so the door isn't on the map. Wait. Excuse me. I didn't have a key. Okay! Up and I'm backing up and I'm backing up and I'm backing up and they've noticed me. Okay. Okay. to dodge every individual attack in his combo, and I kind of hate that. Are they wearing hazmat suits or something? Easy come, easy go. I don't remember if I heal when I walk into the safe havens that are safe rooms. Uh, I thought... Oh, wait, I went in here earlier, that's right. And it was there. Last time there was just painkillers in here. Now there's just another trauma pad, hey. Easy go, easy come, I guess. Was there anything in here? Yes. Ooh. And more shells. Oh, that reminds me, I should probably put some of those in here. Oh, that was a nice reload, Alan. He just slaps both of them in at the same time. As opposed to Saga, who places the shells in one after the other, even if... Which really draws attention if you haven't used both shells. But, you know, I've harped on that before, so I'll leave it be. What's this? Ocean View Hotel closed due to water damage. Do not enter. We apologize for the inconvenience. 
Oh, right, those guys are dead. So yes, get the key, and it's on the map, right in front of me. And I walk up here, and I do this, in preparation of the horror show. The scene had changed. The troop were busy building their own wicker man, where they themselves would be sacrificed. No, you don't. You can fuck right off. Excellent. The prop room had been changed from room 104 to room 225. I don't actually know how to get to floor two, though. I do find it interesting how whenever the the shadows of super speed move, a bunch of props go that they pass fly up in the air. I've also find it interesting that this table exploded into splinters, but these ceramic vases are fine. So what is in room 104 if it's not the prop room anymore? It's red in there. Oh boy, oh boy. Room 104 key. What does it say about that? Key to room 104, the Ocean View Hotel. Who could have guessed? Wait. Flashlight. The detective's flashlight taken from Alex Casey. Hmm. The lighting is very red in here. a reference to The Shining here, but I'm not going to, because uh, I haven't really been a fan of The Shining ever since I found out that Stephen King, the guy who wrote the original novel, hated that movie. All right. He disagreed with a lot of the fundamental choices made in that movie by the... Uh, staff and by Kubrick. Most notably, he apparently uh, vehemently disagreed with the idea of casting Jack Nicholson as the lead because the guy was so famous for Cuckoo's Nest that King felt it was uh, that just casting him gave away the fact that he was going to go crazy in this movie. Was that before or after he did the Joker in Batman? Or he played the Joker in Batman. I should be careful with the phrasing. of folders with nothing written on the outside out here. I've seen them uh, scattered around the hotel. Is this the same room? Laid out the other way? No, no. How strange. Save there. Huh. The flashbangs in here for now because I do have one shot left on the uh, flare gun, which is frankly easier to use. Oh, this is the second floor. Great. Maybe I will go back down. Um... Oh, I see. Yeah, first floor. So that bathroom is the transition area to the second floor instead of a staircase. Uh, but how do I get here? What is... Oh, maybe through those stairs. So it doesn't show where those stairs lead. If I had to guess here, though... Ah, oh, fuck. Oh my god, I can't even see where the guy is. 
Honestly, I was kind of dismayed when I saw that some of them now have super speed. That's another symbol. I don't know what it means. On that door there. The C inside the circle. It kind of looks like a uh, copyright logo, except for the line going straight down from the bottom. Uh, no, no. You must have been confused with someone else. I'm one of the other five guys who have this face. Paint. I'm starting to say that I would have figured that the shadows didn't need any more powers, given how strong they are, and the fact that they uh, already have the most potent uh, stealth ability I've ever seen in a video game, and that they are literally made of darkness. I can't remember which room it was. Sorry about that, I needed to sneeze. Oh, hey, chest. Nothing. Night Spring. A special place. A shifting space. Existing in a countless number of parallel realities. Sometimes a quaint small town. Sometimes a hulking metropolis. Different every time we set upon the road that leads us there. And yet... Like a half-remembered echo of a fading dream, always familiar to us. These are the stories that take place there. More inspiring, macabre, terrifying, heartbreaking, nail-biting, absurd, and thrilling. Sometimes all of these things at once. A haunting new season of mind-bending episodes, written by Alan Wake. I am your host. Orlandor, and I will see you soon in Night Spring. Not bad. I would have, uh... I would have had him pronounce it, like, more similarly to the old narrator from that show in the first game. I will see you soon in Night Spring. You know, just move the inn closer to the name of the show. I guess that's a reference to the dude uh, who brought back the Twilight Zone. Nothing. But there is paint pointing into this room. Can I roll out this carpet? Maybe there's a word of power painted on it, or... Ah! The ceiling. Well, how the hell was I supposed to know to look up at the roof? Oh yeah, that paint is totally invisible with the flashlight off. Is it this? I've seen a few of these, these tarps pinned to the wall. Or not. Oh. I can't swing my weapon from here. That did it! bathroom isn't even finished yet. They haven't put the bathtub in place. Boy, this is tense. Aha! Word of war found. Yeah, okay, full stop. Increases damage up with the last bullet in the revolver's chamber by 50%. Fuck yeah. I guess there must be one of the other room, too. Ah! 
now the arrow is pointing towards the... No oh, shit! Okay, Shadow House Party. Oh, no Fuck me. Just gonna keep on walking. We're gonna go... What? Oh, right, I heal when I find those things now. Nice. Wait, does that mean if I were able to open the black triangle door, that I would be able to go to the oldest house? Or maybe the astral plane? Oh, I don't know. Making a pull from the dark place into the astral plane really isn't much better than making it into the real world, huh? I just realized I have to look around to the flashlight, and these guys can see it when I do that. Oh, God. I was really hoping it would be on that floor right in front of the door. Well, I don't see anything on the ceiling. Gotta be careful about this. Oh, no. No. Don't tell me. No. It wasn't on that wall behind those two guys. Okay. Why does it point back towards the door? Why are all the bathrooms green? This is weird. This one doesn't even have a bathtub! Fuck me. Trauma pad? Uh, I don't know what that- Oh, that's flare ammo! Shotgun shells, and two flashbangs! No arrows. I can't pick up the flashbangs with the flare ammo right now, but... Oh, right, and if I fired it at the, uh... And it doesn't seem to kill the shadows, it just immediately unlocks them. Even if I fired it after I broke the, uh, the, sh the, the dark around them. Oh well, this bathroom seems momentarily safe enough for me to uh, call it an episode in here. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you next time on Let's Play Alan Wake 2, when we continue exploring this hotel and trying not to get into any tussles with the guests. Wish me luck and stay in the light.